Hi, I'm John Arena from Arena Farms. We're located in Concord, Massachusetts. We grow uh, 180 different varieties of fruits and vegetables on 200 acres of land. We currently are in the process of using a lot of machinery for cultivation purposes, um, sort of to get away from the use of herbicides and uh, with minimal hand weeding. We grow many varieties of um, beans and peas, all with um, out herbicides. What we do is in, a, in, the, in that particular field, we try not to let weeds develop, go to seed. So we're constantly keeping that process of harrowing, cultivating, uh, keeping those weeds from going to seed is a big part of uh, our farm plan, our farm weed plan. Uh, that process is done by uh, planting the rows, um, we plant them three feet apart. Leaving a hill of dirt on each side of the, of the row helps us to, when cultivating, it fills in along the stem of the plant and covers any small weeds that might be germinating. And generally in the about six acres of beans and peas we grow, um, we can do all of that without any hand weeding and just cultivation. This tractor is set up with cultivating discs for doing along the edges of plastic without the use of herbicides and very minimal hand weeding. This is set up with a straight tooth right here. At a, it's at a slight angle to get underneath the black plastic. It also kind of lifts it up a little bit so any weeds that are germinating or small weeds that are there get, you know, really get disturbed by that, followed by a second round cultivating disc, which again throws dirt out and disturbs the weeds. And the last disc here returns the soil back onto the plastic edge where this first one kind of had taken it off a little bit. And this is our, uh, all these tools here are um, simple cultivating tools, a straight tooth, it's got, it does have a spring if you, hit, if you have rocky fields. Um, the tractor is a Super C farm all uh, from, from uh, uh, International Harvester. And uh, very simple operation. We generally uh, use this machine when weeds are about uh, just, just starting to germinate, that's the best time to go in. Uh, that slight disruption of the ground, when uh, small weeds, they die instantly. Um, if you do get behind, however, and weeds start to germinate uh, and they get even up to six, we've even used this at 12 inches in height. Uh, because the round discs are there, you get no clog up that you would normally get on all straight teeth. Uh, so it's great if you can get in early and if you happen to not get in early, uh, they still will do a great job. The only difference is you'd have to do um, at weeds 6 to 12 inches in height, you might have to do uh, your rows six, about six times to get a complete uh, you know, clean area. Whereas if you get in at the right time, usually twice a year uh, is all that you need to be done. This particular field has been done twice and uh, what offers us with, also with this um, unit is we can put down fertilizer at the same time that we're cultivating. So it uh, works out, you know, getting a lot of things done with one, one pass. This cultivation system also works great on crabgrass. It uh, gets down below the, you know, the root system, lifts it out, and it does kill it. Uh, the purslane also, uh, which is generally, generally is a, a problem weed for us, it does pull the weed out, um, and if you do it on a hot enough day, it generally will die before it has a chance to uh, re-root re itself in.